Well, the thing that is amazing is that this crowd doesn't know anything about Mandalorian. And I think the fact that we were able to bring John Favreau, who was, you know, just about to debut Lion King and previously had done Iron Man and Jungle Book, and he's so beloved by this crowd. And then Dave Filoni, who has spent 15 years immersed in Star Wars, to bring the two of these guys together and have them create this show, I, I don't think there could be a better combination. Well, this show, Mandalorian, is actually going to launch the Disney Plus service. And I think, too, people don't know what to expect, and I think it has the size and scale and scope of anything that they might see in the movie theater, and yet it's now going to be live television. And that's something Star Wars has never done. So we're incredibly excited, and yet at the same time, Disney's incredibly excited to launch this new service. So it's, um, it's, it's, an, amazing, it's an amazing time for content, for storytelling. I think that's, that's what we're all so excited about. Pedro Pascal and Gina Carano, and of course, Carl Weathers. I mean, the combination of those three sitting up there with Dave and John, um, each one of them is just so embodies who their character is in Mandalorian. And I think the crowd just couldn't get enough. I mean, they're, um, they're personable and yet strong. I think when, when, G when Gina came out on stage, and she'd never been to Star Wars Celebration before, and she has such an incredibly sweet and genuine persona, and then the first clip that comes up, she's just, you know, throwing this incredible punch. <laughs> I think it's, it's pretty great juxtaposition.